In this video, we're going to talk about some form components you can apply in Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement or any model-driven app to change the visualizations on your form. So I have this lead form in a trial instance. I've added a couple forms to this section that I called lead details. We have two yes, no fields here. We have a currency field for estimated budget and we have a whole number field for rating. So I'm going to show you how we can transform this to this by applying a couple form controls. So stay tuned and let's dive in. These field level visualization controls actually live on your Power Apps form developer. So we are in the form that I was showing you earlier. This is the lead form, the main form for the lead. And again, here's the section that I've added and these are the four fields that we're gonna look at. So let's start with our yes, no field. Your yes, no fields have a really cool visualization component which is the toggle switch. So to apply any of your field level controls, again, this is per form, you would come to the panel on the right once you click on the field and there's this component section. So click on that to expand it and then click add component. And you can see for a yes, no field, I can either put a canvas control app or what we're gonna do here is a toggle. The next step is asking you where you would like this to show. So you can limit it just to web, mobile or tablet. It defaults you to all three, which is what I'm gonna leave. And then I'm gonna click done. And now you can see that this just changed from a drop down yes, no to a toggle. So let's do the same thing for our next field, evaluate fit. Highlight the field, expand components, click add component, select toggle from the list, and done. Awesome. So it's pretty easy to apply these controls on a yes, no field. Now you will note that even though I have my toggle field here, um, it didn't show on my preview. That happens sometimes. It's just a little buggy. All you have to do is save and publish. And then when you come over to the form itself, refresh and you'll be able to see the latest greatest changes on your form. So our next field is estimated budget. This is a currency field. So the currency field is going to have different components available. So same thing we did before. Select your field, highlight components, click add component. And now we have this number input control. So this is cool. This is going to be neat. There, this one has a couple other configuration tasks. So it's, it's asking me, is this a currency? Um, what is my static value? So we'll do 100 um, and then click done. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So now we've got this field here that the user can plus minus. Now I know this might not be ideal for estimated currency, but I just want to give you an idea of what you can do with it. So this will go up in increments of 100. Finally, we have rating. I love this one. So I did a whole number field. Again, select your field in the panel on the right, expand components, add component. So we still have that number input, which you see here, but we now have a star rating. Ooh, so this is a star. It's like what it sounds like. It's a visualization of stars. Your value can be two stars, three stars, four stars, or five stars. I'm gonna keep it as five, click done. And then let's save and publish. And then we're gonna go over to the lead form and we're gonna refresh what we have. And now we have taken some drop down fields, some free text fields, some just number fields, and we've added really cool visualizations. So again, we're gonna come over to this exact same lead. We're gonna refresh and then boom, look at that. So now my users can just toggle yes, no. Sorry about the trial sign in. Um, and then this number field is in increments of 100 because that's what we set. You can make that whatever you want. Your users can also just type directly in here if that's better and rating and boom, look at those cool visualizations. But wait, there's more. If you need additional form controls that aren't available within here, you're going to go to pcf.gallery, which is a community initiative all of these great controls are for free. If you're looking for something, you can browse here, you can search. I recommend searching by what you're using. So you can see in the search made for model driven apps, canvas apps, power apps, portals, um, and then you can just search. And then there's 394 controls as of today, as of right now, that you can apply on model driven apps. If there's something you're interested in, you can click on it, you can see what it is, you can download it, you can go over to the GitHub repository, download solution files, it'll tell you what to do. But have fun, tons of cool visualizations that you can add to your Dynamics 365 CE and model-driven app forms.